Here with Endicott women's tennis head coach Jeremy Howard checking in with the women's tennis team, episode three. Coach, just talk a little bit about the last two matches that the team has played against Nichols and Colby Sori and how the team fared. Yep, uh, obviously going out to Nichols on a Tuesday evening. Uh, beautiful new facility they've got with some you know, lighted courts, so it was a great scene. Um, you know, it was a fun environment for our team. We've battled them the past few years since I've been here. I think four years in a row, we played them in the finals of the CCC. So to be able to go in there and, and, and sweep them definitely feels good. It's a great morale booster for the team. Uh, Nichols is, is definitely tough, and I think if we played them 10 more times, it, it wouldn't be 9-0 again. So um, we stepped up that day and you know feel great about that win. Talk about the Colby Sawyer match a little bit. Uh, yeah, you know, it was a, I think we came out a little bit flat in the doubles yesterday against Colby Sawyer, which, you know, unfortunately it isn't exactly unexpected after, you know, kind of the emotional high of beating Nichols just the evening before. Um, we righted the ship a little bit, came back in one of the doubles matches and couldn't quite come back in the other two, so it put us in a difficult situation for singles, especially since we had to sit one of our starters just to, to keep her healthy, basically. Um, but we battled hard. Colby Sawyer is a tough team. Uh, they deserve the win. Um, unfortunately, with them being at a conference, we wouldn't have a chance to play them again, although I would love to. Just uh, preview the Eastern Nazarene matchup this weekend, obviously another big conference matchup for the team. Yeah, uh, another great conference opportunity for us on Saturday down at Eastern Naz. Um, we've uh, beaten them every year since I've been here. Uh, they, they did pick up another player or two at the top of the lineup, so I think they'll present a little bit more of a challenge than they have in the past. Um, so it'll be a great opportunity for us to get you know back back to our winning ways, which we were doing so before the uh, Kobe Sawyer game. Coach, can you just talk about the recent stretch the team has been on? You know, obviously Colby Sawyer loss breaks up that seven match winning streak, but the se the teams really seem to be in a groove. Shut out a few teams during that stretch as well. Just talk about what worked. Yeah, uh, seven match in a row is obviously a great accomplishment. Uh, we basically just played a lot of solid tennis, um, doubles and singles. Not our best but we played very solid and, and oftentimes that's good enough to win. Uh, you know, going forward, we're gonna have to raise that a little bit, uh, you know, to, to continue to win in conference and then hopefully come playoff time, which is just a couple weeks away. Um, like I said, you know, we're gonna have to raise it from solid to, to very good uh, if we wanna be the last team standing in the CCC. Coach, can you just talk a little bit about how the team has kind of had this huge camaraderie on it, just watching the matches, how each student athlete is into everyone else's matches. Obviously, there's a lot of, you know, support within the program. Just talk about the team and whole as a whole and how that's working for your team so far. Yeah, it's a great question, and, and honestly, with, with regards to the tennis, that can be somewhat tough sometimes because uh, even though it's a team sport, you're very individual out there. Um, but I think the leadership from a couple of our older players, our returners, has been great because it's easy for the eight freshmen to come in and, and bond really quickly because they're going through everything together. Um, but it really speaks to people like Kenzie Rhodes, Jamie Zampa, Maxine Bergstein, and Katie Jaborowski, who are the four returners, who have not only brought the eight freshmen together, but also immersed themselves with them, and they're just one complete team that support each other on and off the court. All right, thanks, Coach, for the insight on the team, and good luck this weekend. Thank you.